DirectFix.com presents The iPod Touch 5th Generation Reassembly Guide Fix your broken iPhone 4 or 4S for under $100 with parts from DirectFix.com Use coupon code YT7 and save 7% off your next order at DirectFix.com Warning, this content is intended to be used for informational and entertainment purposes only. You are using this video directions and its content at your own risk. X Micro Solution Inc. makes no representation, warranties, or conditions of any kind expressed or implied. Following these directions on the video will void your warranty you are performing this repair at your own risk. We will begin reassembly with the installation of the volume and power button ribbon flex cable. Place a small locking plate over the power button and secure with two small Phillips screws. One more screw goes next to the rear facing camera. Two more small Phillips screws hold down the volume control buttons. We can now place the headphone jack, sync charge port, and speaker module into their place in the bottom of the iPod and secure with five Phillips screws. Place the physical home button into its place on the screen assembly and then place the plastic bezel frame around the assembly. Place the battery into its place in the unit. We can now attach the screen assembly consisting of the LCD and touch panel to the motherboard as well as the ribbon cable for the volume and control buttons.
Secure the Wi-Fi antenna with three very small Phillips screws as well as the motherboard with three Phillips screws. Using a soldering iron, solder on the battery. We can now place the main EMI shield into the unit. Make sure the home button circuit goes through the shield. Secure the shield with 12 screws shown in the red circles. We can now fold over the screen assembly and place into the iPod. For all your cell phone parts, accessories, and service needs, go to directfix.com now.